Eco-Renovating Our Collaborative Models. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 395. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. Hey, thanks for tuning in. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is being the people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our October 18th, 2020 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is eco-renovating our collaborative models. And what that means is, well, Think of it this way. Right now, it seems like most of society is focused more on competition instead of collaboration and cooperation. But what if we were to change that? And what if we were to build a new society on a foundation of logical, sustainable infrastructure and components focused on ecology and the highest good of all life on this planet? And we create a sustainable world within our lifetimes that would benefit us and all life on this planet, that we regenerate our earth, that we regenerate our ecosystems, and that would demonstrate that humanity is capable of being the conscious and conscientious stewards that we have the ability to be. Well, that would be eco-renovating our collaborative models. And one community is supporting this idea through open source tools, tutorials, and resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And those specifically are the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing. Everybody knows those. But we're also combining those and adding to those the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are arguably even more important. And those foundations we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and true earth stewardship. Taking these two things and putting them together to create a way of living and a way of life that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now because we're eco-renovating our collaborative models to build them based on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition and showing that we can get more done, have more free time and more things to do with that free time, solve our financial challenges, and really ultimately solve all of the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come through this model by working together, by cooperating, by collaborating, and building on sustainable infrastructure and living in integrity with every moment, everything that we do for the benefit of us and all people if we just decide that we want to do this. And step one, we believe, is to bring together a group of people, starting with 50, and to build a prototype community and demonstrate that by growing our own food and being able to build our own homes, we can create environments that are non-toxic, we can eat food that's fresher, more nutritious, and that we know has not been sprayed with poison or fungicides, herbicides, pesticides. I mean, those are the three primary poisons right there. We can grow in soil that's healthier and more nutritious, producing healthier, more nutritious. We're not going to eat the soil. It's healthier and produces more nutritious food. And we can create environments where through working together, we can have more fun, do more of the things that we want to do. And so that's our fulfilled living models, our true stewardship models, all this stuff put together. And we can run it on an, an economic model that's also open source and free shared that can free people from financial debt and financial servitude and allow them to live lives that are more enjoyable, more enriching with their friends and their families in beautiful locations and to be able to actually share this model with other people. And that's what One Community is all about. 30% of the infrastructure that we're creating, everything you see in the background here is what one community is working to build. We're open sourcing and free sharing all these details. And as we construct the seven different sustainable villages, the city center will be inviting hundreds, eventually thousands, eventually hundreds of thousands of people annually to come and visit and experience and see all of this open source infrastructure participate in the the, the recreational aspect, the social aspects, the learning aspects, the construction, the personal growth and enrichment aspects, all of that included within the model, and then to be able to take whatever aspects that they want and replicate it because it's all open source and free shared as our path, our structure, our model, our idea for eco-renovating our collaborative models globally. And we do that through making this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough 
So it spreads on its own and creating a global cooperative, a global collaborative of different versions of one community working together to create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And so want to know how it works? Well, we've had over 500 volunteers contribute to our project so far. We've been at this for 10 years, 100% volunteer team, including myself. We're a nonprofit organization. Uh, we're a non-governmental organization. And we're all open source and free shared so that we can build one community as an example community, a prototype where people can come and visit and live, be a part of it, and help create other versions of this. A solution model designed to create additional solution creating models. And easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so it can spread on its own. That's our idea of creating a world that works for everybody and eco renovating our collaborative models in the highest good of all life on this planet. And so that's why we talk a lot about for the highest good of all, because we think for the highest good of all, we're constantly trying to focus on what can we do that is in the highest good of all people and all life on this planet. How can we make sure that what we're creating is accessible to everybody and that hopefully we're creating something for everyone, even people that look at this idea and go, that's crazy. I don't want to do that. I don't want to live with a bunch of people. I just want to do my own thing. Great. It's all open source and free shared so you can do that. Well, that's crazy. Your values don't match my values at all. I believe this other thing. I think this is the way to live. Great, it's all open source and free shared. Get other people together that agree with you and create sustainable communities. We can still work in cooperation, collaboration. We don't have to agree on everything. Share your values, structure your values, be clear and transparent what those are and find others that share those and you'll be able to use our blueprints as well. And that, what I just described of sharing and being transparent about your values is a part of it. It's about saying, hey, this is what we're creating. And so we keep sharing this on week after week. I share, this is what we're creating for people that want to be a part of this. Come and join us. If we agree that you want to create exactly what we want to create, great, we're on the same team. Let's create together faster, easier, more, bigger, better for everybody. And for other people that have different ideas, great, get together with other people that share those ideas. And you're welcome to use our open source plans as well. And hopefully you'll create it even better. So this is what one can use up to. This is what we're creating. This is the way that we want to live. We're sharing it with the world and this is our idea for eco-renovating our collaborative models, and by our, I mean humanity's collaborative models, to focus more on cooperation, collaboration, instead of competitive collaborative models, because you can have that. We want it to be all about cooperation, collaboration, making a difference in the world, because we see that world as being more successful, more enjoyable to live in, and certainly sustainable, if that's what we all choose to do, or just at least if that's what enough of us choose to do to reach that tipping point. And we know that we can achieve that one in our lifetime. And so that's the direction where we're going. So with that said, thanks for checking us out. Thanks for watching to the end. Uh, ring that bell, subscribe, like our video if you want to help us out. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Stick around for a couple more minutes if you'd like to see bullet points about uh, the biggest parts of our project. And of course, visit our written blog if you would like to see the specifics of what our team, our all-volunteer team, has accomplished last week. Thanks again. See you next week. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.